Hello, good morning. My name is Utkarsh Parkhi, and today I will show you how to make a f how to dis make Fibonacci series using assembly language. So we will start by seeing what are Fibonacci numbers. Then I will explain what the subroutine or the assembly language code does, and then we will see code running on GNU8085 simulator. So Fibonacci numbers, the series is as follows 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 34 so we can cl clearly observe the pattern over here the sum of previous two numbers is the next number so in the previous side 0 1 we can clearly see 0 and 1 add to 1 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 2 plus 3 is 5 and so on also the first two numbers are defined as 0 and 1 so that we can calculate the rest of the numbers and the rule which in a mathematical form is the f of n is equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 ok so now I will explain uh, what the subroutine does so this is the subroutine this is the initializing part and this is the part that loops through to generate all the other numbers ok so first we load 3050 there is I have not written an H after this because this is in decimal so 3050 is loaded in the HL pair so this is the memory location where we will store the first Fibonacci number that is B then C over here is the count like how many numbers we require for the how many Fibonacci numbers we require and then D is initialized 0 1 you see the no, none of the values have written h after that so these are only decimal, decimal numbers then we move the value of b that is 0 to m next we move increase h that means we increase this hl pair 3050 to next memory location that is 3051 and we move d to m so this now we have initialized the condition so b stores the first fibonacci number d stores the second fibonacci number and now we will see how we will generate the other Fibonacci numbers so this is how we loop this is the logic behind looping so we first move B to A the accumulator then we add D to it so now the third Fibonacci number is stored currently in A now B and D are present we move D to B that is the first Fibonacci number to B and we move A to D that is the third Fibonacci number to D. Now we increase the memory point, a memory HL pair, and we move the accumulator to M. So now we have stored the third Fibonacci number in the memory location M. We decrease C as we have found the next Fibonacci number. And while C is not zero, we go to the label which again moves B to A and finds the next Fibonacci number. Okay. So now we will see the code in action. Okay, so here you can see I have already loaded my code in GNU sim 8085 and now I will place the debugging dots for so that we can see each instruction in action. Also I will take the memory location to 3050 so we can see how it's affecting. So here by pressing F8 I have compiled the assembled the program successfully and by F9 we can start running the code. So here you can see HL pair is now 0BEA which is the hexadecimal code of 3050. Then we move B to 00, then we set C as 12 which is the 0C which is the hexadecimal code. Again we set D to 1 and now we move B to the memory location M 
so as it was zero there is no change but as we move d to the next memory location after increasing h we will be able to see one over here now we have moved a to b we can add d and we can see and we can we now shift the fibonacci number so that we can add the next fibonacci number and store it in d so we will look here at the memory locations and you can see that 3052 location is set one as c is not still zero we move on to the next we can see that the code is working correctly and the fibonacci series is being generated over the memory locations also the fibonacci series increases exponentially so it gets the space will run out pretty fast so let us see how far it goes see after 233 it won't be able to store more fibonacci numbers as there is a requirement of more more bits of data but as we have set only 12 number of fibonacci numbers it won't go beyond 233 if we if we try to put 13 over here we can see that 3064 won't be able to store it would give a wrong answer so we can clearly see 3064 is giving wrong answer 1 to 1 this is because the fibonacci numbers increase exponentially and within one memory location only this these many numbers can be stored to in pre to make the code better we can make we can use two of the two memory locations to store but during this project i have showed only i have tried to store only in 8 bit processors 8 bit memory locations okay thank you for watching